A new type of art exhibit has proven so popular in San Diego, it's being held over for an extra month. Beyond Van Gogh, an immersive experience brings over 300 of the artist's works into a multimedia experience using projection and cutting edge technology to walk the viewer into the masterpieces and in doing so, reveal the journey that was the artist's life. And for those who have seen it and those who haven't, we wanted to provide historical depth into the pieces of art and one of the most complicated artists of all time. For that, we ask an art historian to take us through. joined Beyond Van Gogh, an immersive experience by Karen Hallmarson, a docent at the Timken Museum, art historian, and lecturer on Vincent Van Gogh. We first walk through his quotes. What am I in the eyes of most people? A non-entity or an oddity or a disagreeable person. Someone who has and will have no position in society. The heart of such an oddity, such a nobody. The words of the artist immediately remind us Van Gogh did not have success in his lifetime. Van Gogh's words and paintings wrap the room in light and color as they move and refocus. Here's a portion of the Night Cafe. A cafe in the city of Arles in the south of France. He loved the night. He actually preferred night paintings to day paintings. When we talk about Starry Night, it's really important to understand that when he looked at that, and remember he was going through a lot of turmoil then, he wanted to find his place in the cosmos. And he felt that when he looked at night and he looked at the night sky, he saw eternity. the sparkles of a starry night. And he loved the flowers from his mother's house, the irises, and of course, the sunflowers. He loved Shakespeare, as you know. So in, in Sonnet 18, Shakespeare said, you know, beauty will last in a sonnet, and beauty lasts in a painting. So he, he, he took that to heart. And the beauty of the almond blossoms, his second to last painting for his brother's son. The petals swirling around us in almost a frenzy, as if to convey Van Gogh's mental state at the time, which was so troubling he was admitted to an asylum. That emotional part component of his life actually propelled a lot of great artwork. Van Gogh created 2,000 works of art over 10 years, many of them in the last few tormented years of his life, but only selling one painting in his lifetime. He's quoted as saying he was painting for people not yet born, and on that, he was correct. Van Gogh really was the genesis for the expressionism, German expressionist, abstract expressionism in, in America in the 1950s. So he really was a genesis of a lot of that branch of art called expressionism. Van Gogh's death in 1890 was reported as suicide. Today is Vincent Van Gogh's birthday. The Dutch post-impressionist painter was born March 30, 1853. Posthumously, he became one of the most famous and influential figures in Western art history. Beyond Van Gogh, an immersive experience is being held over through May 8th at the Weiland Center at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. We have a link on our website, 10news.com. You can see his colors change. He loved Rembrandt, and they were grays and browns when he was younger. And as his life went on toward the end, it was blue, yellow, red. Interesting. And the Van Gogh story is so tragic. That room, that space is so technological. Was there anything that impressed you most about moving around with all those lighting fixtures? It was the combination of all 300 coming and going, focusing, refocusing uh, from the ceiling to the floor. That's what's amazing about it is you can't get that in any museum in the world. All 300 yeah. in one spot. Very unique. So. All right, Kim, great story. 